If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell y'all leak? So, a lot of y'all been telling me that um, Tay and Lou been going through it, kind of. And I wasn't aware of it, so I want to go back into the archives and see what the hell y'all was talking about. So, that's what we about to do. You dig? And other than that... What the goddamn hell yeah to the uh to the video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in. You could be anywhere else, but you're here with me. Let's get in. Gang, it's Tay. This video was two years ago. They got a video that's more recent of the same thing. But I was, you know, looking and I was like, I'm just gonna start here. Um, as y'all can see they faces, I've been in these shoes before. You know what I'm saying? Let me pull myself down. I've been in these shoes before. You don't really wanna do this video. <laughs> But you gonna do this video because the people keep asking what the hell going on with y'all. And you gotta tell them. <laughs> All right, let's get it. What's up, Thank Thang Gang? It's Tay. Hey, Lou. And today, as promised in the last video, Lou and I are gonna be very transparent about the things that are going on in our relationship. What are we eating, baby girl? Um, Sad meals. Exactly. Happy meals. Yeah, we have happy meals, but I don't know how happy we really are i know we're working towards happiness yes but it doesn't come easy all the time and we want to make sure that you guys understand that sometimes behind the scenes it's not the greatest and we don't want to ever pretend like it's always good because then you guys might have expectations of us that we don't even have of ourselves right now okay I felt that. so we're gonna get into it what kind of happy meal did you get um, um a nugget yes me too we both got nuggets. So you're probably gonna start to see a sweat in a little bit in this car because we don't have the air on. The tension is thicker than a bitch. And so that there's not too much windy noises coming from the vents. I don't know what kind of toilet. I don't know what that means. Serious. I don't know what a pink me. Pink me? Pop? I don't know. I'm not even really hungry to be honest, but I'm gonna eat because we're mukbanging. And, uh, yeah, if you see me look off to the sides because people are looking in the car room. <laughs> Stop. So, basically, Lou and I are either about to get married or we're about to break up. And I knew... I now, that's how you not have a gray area at all. I know that that seems like very, 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 very different ends of the spectrum, but there's a reason for that. We don't have the typical relationship problems right now. Well, there is, it's actually the most typical relationship problem that we have right now, but it's not cheating. My eyes only belong to her. And vice versa. Um, it's not a lack of love, a lack of attraction, none of that. Do mm -mm. know have extremely different styles of communication and after three years of being in a relationship together we're at the point where we've decided that either we're going to learn to meet each other halfway mm -hmm. or we're gonna just have to call it quits they definitely don't have a gray area i feel like that's the problem at the top of the list like, when you don't have a gray area in a relationship, it's so bad. Like, I am not a gray area person at all whatsoever, but I do have a gray area when it comes to my relationship because I know that things happen, right? Especially in relationships, like, shit goes on, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially with communication because when without, well, for me, it'd be comprehension. If you're not comprehending what I'm saying, like, and I'm trying my best to say it the best way I can. And I'm the type who will say it over and over again and try different ways to say it. Um, but if you're not getting it, it's like, 
you have to just agree to disagree. The problem with agreeing to disagree in a relationship is that the shit always come back up because you didn't agree. So you kind of have to learn to accept your partner for who the hell that they are and try and help them work through it or work y'all work through your shit. But they was like, nigga, either we get married or either we breaking up is crazy. <laughs> and the reason why it's such a pressing matter right now in these months to come is because of my age and her age. I really would like to have a biological child with Luth. But in order for us to do that, I have to feel secure and she has to feel secure in the fact that we will be providing this child. I ain't shit. Why? I ain't gonna say it. I might have to. I'm gonna say this. They have total different views on things in general. Which obviously they just said that, but what I mean is, like Lou, her baby daddy already got custody of her child. She don't even want to pay the child support. Why in the hell would you want a child with someone who doesn't want to do that? And that explains her not her not having her own self-confidence and shit like that. I get it. I get it. With the healthiest environment in regards to our communication skills. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's very different with Lanai, which is the daughter that we obviously have right now, but the daughter that is, is biologically loose. Obviously, due to the circumstances and due to also when I just entered into Lanai's life, Lou, of course, takes the majority of the decision making with Lou, with Lanai's father about what happens with Lanai. That's a very different subject than if Lou and I were to bring in a child together. The communication can be very different with Lanai, with us when it comes to Lanai, because Lou takes, you know, you take the reins. I she definitely lets me offer suggestions and I know she takes heat to a lot of suggestions, but at the end of the day, that's Lou's baby. It's my baby too, but that's Lou's baby. So, you know, but when it's a shared baby 50-50, now we're talking, a different level of need for us to communicate. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like our, how do you feel our communication has been? It has been on up and up. However, we always can manage to have something seem like it's on an up and up. And then a situation will happen where I feel miserably or vice versa and it questions everything. So Why our, are you feel miserably? This can manage to have something seem like it's on an up and up and then a situation will happen where I fail miserably or vice versa and failed miserably and it questions everything so our communication presently I think it's excellent but there's still a big question mark as to whether or not we can maintain that exactly and that's been the problem with us but before you know when we first entered into a relationship we were still in our 20s and the sobering aspect of entering your 30s kind of makes you realize okay well now there is a little bit of a ticking time bomb uh, uh yeah entering into your 30s boy that shit hit different i'm not gonna lie like entering into your 30s was really great for me for about a month or two and then after that everything just went to shit <laughs> because like dealing with 30 year old shit that really really comes um, so yeah, that's the thing. And especially mm -hmm. in regards to fertility and being able to have a baby. So the things we were okay with happening before, such as us not speaking for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. and, and to be honest with you, we've missed events because, because of it in the past mm -hmm. that we really wanted to attend. And we're I went through that before worst feeling in the world. Like, you get mad as hell before you got to go do something. I ain't going to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? I've gotten way better now. Uh, well, me and TT in general have gotten better with that. Uh, but sometimes you be so angry, you don't even want to go to the damn event. And that's why I was telling y'all, like, we got a job that we can't quit. And that's, that's it can be a pain in the ass. Better <laughs> when you got mm -hmm. real life shit going on. We've missed out on important times together mm -hmm. that we really wanted to have. We've won. Family, well, yeah. I, I'm gonna speak for myself. 
I've ruined family events, not in front of a family, but to her. She wasn't able to go because she was too emotionally distraught. Right? And the, the biggest concern for us is we can do that because we're adults, but we're damn sure not going to do that to a child. I don't want our child to come to feel like this is a proper way to communicate. Mm -mm. And by, by different communication styles, this is what I mean. I am the type to get upset about something sometimes. And I like to handle things in the moment because the longer mm -hmm. it takes for things to be handled, the more upset <clears throat> I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. On the other hand... On the other hand, I completely shut down mm -mm. and separate. Mm -hmm. And it's horrible. It's, it's like... I had to stop shutting down because of the kids. So I'm, I am absolutely the one to shut down and leave. Um, and I separate myself because I felt like, you know, not felt like I can have a huge anger issue as well. Um, I've, but I'm, oh, I'm so much better now, but, um, the last situation, sometimes that last situation need to be that last situation, you know, and you can't shut down when you have kids. Cause first of all, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Kids be like, man, you good? No. All right. Anyway, uh, can you take me to the mall? Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you got to, mm, yeah, mm -hmm, I'll take you to the mall. Them kids don't understand. I mean, you could tell them your whole life story, and they won't give a damn right after you are done with that story. They ain't give a damn why you was telling it, to be honest with you. And not because they mean any harm. They just don't know what the fuck we talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to learn that with, you know, y'all got to understand, I ain't had no damn kids around me at all, you know. So when kids came into my life, a lot of shit had to change, like, ASAP. So that was that was bothering me at first because, you know, I, 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 I like to, well, I, I'm not anymore, but I used to like to shut down, leave. Um, and y'all know I'd stay outside forever. You know, just to feeling like I, I needed my peace because I couldn't express myself how I wanted to or I, she ain't understanding what I'm saying or I'm not understanding what she's saying. But, yeah, them kids will change all that. I can't even shut down who. Bitch, you better finish this conversation and get the fuck. Like I'm a brick <laughs> Take wall. your ass back in that room. <laughs> or a person For on real. the street. Right. So because of that, like I said, we're losing a lot of time. Even to the point with some of the YouTube videos. There's sometimes we have the greatest ideas available, y'all. And it'll be the smallest thing. Smallest. The smallest thing that prevents us from starting the video. And then this is what will happen. Two or three hours have passed by. Because we usually make up within a day. Mm -hmm. But now the day is gone. So we didn't get to accomplish anything. All I could see nah, in the back of my head is, what if this starts to translate in it when it's time for us to attend the soccer game with our child or go to a doctor's appointment? Say we have an argument right before it. So are we not going now? Because that's exactly. what it looks like. We don't get the work done. We don't go places when we get into these energies. And no way a child can go through that. Right. So as a result, the first step for us was admitting to ourselves that we've tried many times before to try to get our communication right, and it's just not working. Mm -mm. So we need help outside of ourselves. And it doesn't necessarily mean therapy, even though I think that's pretty much the route that we're gonna go. <laughs> we definitely respect therapy. Obviously, I worked under the social work realm back in the day. So it's something that I definitely understand the value of, and so does she. Mm -hmm. However, we uh -huh. also, or at least I'm not gonna speak for you, but I also feel like it's a matter of reconnecting and re-experiencing, or not re-experiencing, but experiencing new things. Lou and I, I... It's a matter of honestly shutting the fuck up. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, a lot of times, you know, we ruin our own shit because we won't shut the fuck up and just hear out our partner. And I want y'all to know that's a huge, huge problem with us. Not me and my relationship. <laughs> I'm saying in general friendships, relationships, like sometimes you got to shut the fuck up, dog. <laughs> and like people will say that shit like, see, I have guy friends. So a guy friend will be like, 
Like, nigga, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you saying. Well, if you shut the fuck up, you'll hear what the fuck I'm saying. But I can't say that to my girl because she's going to be like, hmm, don't tell me to shut the fuck up. You see, it just turns into something different than what it's supposed to be. So me and TT have worked on that a lot. Just shut the fuck up, okay? I need to say what it is I need to say. I'm not trying to disrespect you because that's the rule. You can say whatever you want to say. Just don't disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? So they just, they have a lot of pride then. They had a lot of pride then, and they have a lot of pride now. And I'm, I'm only talking about this, y'all, because of experience. I love when these type things happen. Not that I want them to break up, but to be honest, I, I'm glad they did. They are free, okay? And hopefully they stay that way. But they are free from each other's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Some people just cannot coexist with one another. We all are just not, we, we all just don't vibrate the same, you know? And that's why, that's why friendships end like they do today. Like friendships didn't end like the way it did back in the days. Like you, you figured it was something that was a problem, but you couldn't put your finger on it type shit. Nowadays, you instantly got your finger on it. It's like, oh, bitch, oh, okay, now I see. But back in the days, you couldn't see what the fuck it was. Now, it's something called energy. You get what I'm saying? And with relationships and energy, we try and save it. So that's the toxic shit. That's where the toxic word came from. Like, you know your energy's off. My energy's off. I'm not feeling this shit. You not feeling this shit. This video was three years ago. And they still talking about the same thing, which means they haven't fixed that. So what are we holding on to? So let's not resent each other let's not whoop each other's asses and, and try and figure this thing out let's not lose our friendship and that's what they just did they lost their fucking friendship and they've been going through this and been knowing it was time to call this shit a quits it's been time the three years that we've been together oh, have gone sucks. through so many different changes we've moved five times in three years together well we moved five times in three years but we ain't had no problem on that end like unfortunately uh we had a few situations that wasn't even in in our uh we ain't start that shit <laughs> we moved in with each other after the second date oh no nah. after the second date y'all yeah, was on that list so shit. our timeline is the true example of u-haul lesbian Mm -hmm. And the consequence of being U-Haul lesbians is exactly <laughs> what, what you, you have now. here. It's <sighs> the beautiful. Go ahead. The crazy part about it is, it's because I felt like, even though we definitely U-Hauled and mm -hmm. we did, I do not recommend this for anybody. Mm -hmm. The beautiful part about it is, you guys, is that I feel like I'm more connected to her than I've been to anybody because I feel like I've migrated. With no, never mind. Just never mind. I feel like I just came into you so quickly and we became one so quickly. But by the time we separated to breathe, mm -hmm. there were qualities about her that I didn't realize. And there was qualities mm -hmm. about me she didn't realize. Hell yeah, you you don't know what you have until it's gone. <laughs> That's the quality. You like, well, damn. Uh, she might not have been bringing anything in financially, but now all my clothes is piling up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't, um, I ain't got nothing to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like the qualities that a woman can really have, you will really miss in the event of her leaving your ass. Okay. And of course it's qualities that she would miss about you as well, but you know, we don't realize what we have until it's gone. You be safe and you know what I... Uh, love you, kids. Yeah. Before them kids go outside, you got to tell them, hey, hey. Tell everybody to keep all objects and everything to themselves. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> and even though we got the loving each other part down and the attracted part down, which is new for both of us, the the functionality of our relationship was not there. Was not there. And honestly, is it is it is it is it here yet? No. I was, I was about here. to say yes. Oh. Because despite no. the functionality of our relationship being them, Lou and I have accomplished so much <laughs> as a couple. However, it's very tough when people in the world can see 
you guys accomplished so much together. That's great. But you know how much you could have really accomplished if you guys were on the same page. If we were on the same page. <laughs> Y'all, if we were on the same page. As far as communicating, please do not get me wrong, young ladies or young men. <laughs> it's just communication. So if we were on the same page as far as communicating goes, honestly, forget all the things we could have done. I would, I would feel so much better if I didn't hurt my girlfriend's feelings so many times if I communicated better. If I didn't have her cry so many times if I communicated better. I just want to kind of erase all of the hurt. I want to erase all of the hurt that I know. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I love you. If I didn't have her cry so many times, if I communicated better. I just want to kind of erase all of the hurt. I want to erase all of the hurt that I know. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I know how she feels right now. Lord have mercy. And it's trauma. It's so much trauma there. And, and the sad part about it is they're not going to be able to help each other. That ain't happening. They're not going to be able to help each other at all. One is gonna have to help herself, and the other is gonna have to help herself. When that, when it, when that trauma is so deep, like it's that trauma can be deep, man. And don't get me wrong, like, well, with me and TT, we we did not separate from the relationship, but like in the house, we had to separate for her to find her own way mentally, and me too. Like, let me not get in your way, let me not be around your energy, let me not. You know, you be around my energy. I just want you to feel your own, you know, and and figure out what you want to do. And she damn sure figured that shit out. And I'm not about to cry. I'm not about to cry. But I know exactly what she's talking about. Sometimes you go so deeply. Yeah, and that hurts. Like, I know I've been hurt, hurt, hit this girl below the belt so many times. And it's because I didn't know how to communicate properly. And because I just moved in and didn't get to know her and all of these things. And even though I know her, like the back of my hand now, I just feel we're like we're really still learning each other and yeah. it's it's crazy y'all because we're also learning ourselves in the meantime of like we we are total opposite polar opposites but we are definitely reflections of each other in the same breath a lot of the things that the qualities that we have alike it like clashes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when i tell y'all we are trying so hard because i don't want to be with anybody else in the world i know people say that a lot but it's like sometimes you meet a person whew, Tay needed someone to tell her to get off her ass and get to it and be more confident and whatever. She meet Lou and that happens, right? Because Lou seems like she ain't afraid to really do nothing. She ain't afraid to get on camera. She ain't afraid. She down for whatever. Um, But Tay said that she did have a problem with that, her getting on camera and just – having confidence and it's so crazy that the most beautiful people that we that you would think on the outside the most beautiful people on on this earth are the ones that are scared the most sometimes like they don't want to I don't know it's crazy to me like beautiful this Tay is damn beautiful I think both of them are but Tay is gorgeous do you hear me and it's like she has abandonment issues and, you know, self self confidence and shit. And it's like, how? You know? And you can be the most gorgeous person in the world and still have issues. I'm not saying that. Um, it's just, you know, she was that push that she needed. Lou was that push that Tay needed. That's why she don't want to let her go. Uh, she's cool with it now, but at the time, you know, she didn't want to let her go. Whatever. It's a lot. Sometimes you meet a person that you know you're supposed to be with, but it's so hard to get it right with them. And I promise you that. Because you ain't supposed to be with them. It shouldn't even be that hard. Both of us are going to do everything in our part to get it right. Not only for y'all, not only for ourselves, but for our children. For, yeah. but not, for our children to come because we really want that we really feel like we have a lot to impart together yeah. and uh yeah so this whole video like i said was to let you guys know why 
we haven't been posting as much. Oh man, you made me cry. I'm Thanks. sorry. I want to look at your face because I don't make sure you don't look too crazy. I know I probably look Ooh. autistic. That's not what we were trying to do. <laughs> but the point is, please bear with us because you're trying to do it the right way. There's no yeah. There's I don't. We we never want to be the couple that one utilizes our pain to make money Mm-mm. or utilizes. Uh, uh, I know the things y'all see on YouTube. I've seen it too. We're not that couple. That's why y'all don't see us. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why you don't see us. We're not gonna be that person, those that couple to just try to bank off everything. We, we really want this. We, yeah, I see you. Oh God. We really, truly love each other. I've never been so much so in love with a person in my life, but because of that, the and thing you want the that. most is is gonna be the hardest. So yeah. I agree. I've been in. She's loving her more than she loved herself, and it shows. And that's just terrible. I'm, you know, I'm sure you have as well. I've been in so many, not so many relationships. I've been in major relationship after major relationship, and I've never felt like I wanted it. All of it was always circumstantial for me, mm-hmm. and finally. The one that I choose, which is you, I feel like you guys, she's the one person I won't have. And that scares me. If I don't get myself together, she's the one thing I won't have. And I just can't take that. So to wrap this all up. And that's why she we wouldn't, let her, well, wouldn't let her go. That's great. Well, it shows. I, I get it now. Guys, we love each other. It's not for a lack of love that we are facing these issues. It's almost, honestly, it's because we love each other too, too damn much. much. Yeah. And it just makes it really hard for us to communicate because we want each other so much and we're scared to lose each other, lose each other so much. So comment down below if you can relate. Comment down below if you understand what we're talking about or if you don't understand what we're talking about. It's, it's just healthy to hear feedback. And They was trying to put, you know, a, a square in a triangle, y'all. Like real shit. A lot of times... um. When you love another person more than you love yourself, it never works. And both of them loved each other more than they loved themselves. That's why they could not get themselves together. Um, Man. Yeah, I love doing these videos because that's why we be so transparent with y'all. Hell, I thought we was one of the realest couples, but shit. <laughs> they they are too. They'll tell you like it is. Listen, you gotta, y'all gotta, have to know. I can't be on camera faking shit. Hell no. That ain't me. You know what I'm saying? When a couple's trying to take off, oh, she gonna take off. You know, right now we just starting our own businesses, so we focused on that. <clears throat> Zero problems this way, actually, in real life. But um, we had to go through some shit, you know, recently to, to figure that out. So we figured it out. I ain't saying it's going to be perfect forever, but you know, the communication and the comprehension is way better over here. Okay. So thank God for that. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I'm glad. I hope they stay separate. They would have been great friends. I ain't gonna lie. They would have been great friends, but they blew it. They did because of resentment and just loving each other more than they love themselves. Um, so I, I hope they find they're finding themselves now, but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.